if you want to crush a can or like lift up a heavy object and you want to do it quickly, um, right now you have to use hydraulics and pneumatics because servos are too weak. And we set out to change that and we're giving, uh, we're trying to give power to makers at an affordable price. So we made the, um, the Cyclone, uh, which we 3D print, but it has transmission efficiency on par with ball screws. I strongly suggest you guys come play with one. Um, they're really good in linkages. So, and if you guys want to learn more about how to do that, at 3.30 Play Sessions who invented it, we'll be giving a talk on how to design with 3D link, uh, with linkages and linear actuators, which are basically servos, but in point-to-point -point compression. Cheers. Good luck. Uh, uh, so, do you think we can launch a tennis ball from it? I, Definitely. I so that's exactly what we did. Uh, and at 3.30, <laughs> we're going to demonstrate the course, tennis the ball launching uh, linkage design. Uh, Essentially, like, point to point, you have a third point. So you're going to uh, expand the cyclone. So you just, so you rotate the cyclone. Or anything, right? I mean, you literally just need right. one bar and then I see, yeah, something yeah. To, to drill a hole through a piece. Yeah, put a pivot on there, put two <laughs> so is this, is this the smallest scale video. version of this? I mean, I don't know. Right now, yes. It could not work. Alright, yeah, you're stronger than me. So this is actually using $1 brushed motors. Uh, we have a version that uses Maxon motors, and it is unbelievable. Here. Right? And then the Cyclone can no, do... Four inch uh, stroke. I heard yourself do that. Yeah, that's good. Wow. That's strong, man. 90 pounds. Is that you play with it? This is really Iron Man stuff. Yeah, man. Give it a pull. Basically, here, let's demonstrate. Okay, so what you have is you have this. It would actually go down to a hip brace, and then the action, so you like velcro this to your arm or something to start. We haven't figured out how to do that. So you gotta mount it in the front. It it's a pole. It's a pole. Okay, the so and then we just put it on pole. the inside. Yeah. You put it on the inside, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like where's When you were to lift something from the ground, which muscle do you use? Yeah, you want the you inner know, You want the bicep. The bicep, and where's the bicep? It's on the inside. Yeah. And the bicep is like three times bigger than your tricep. Because the tricep just has to go back to gravity. Yeah. The bicep fights gravity. Okay, so you could just put a spring in. Yeah. It's always 
the big one and always the big one is always the one that jams. The little one is always fine. Yes. Right now, one of the big Yes, right super smooth too. Whoa. Let me see. Nice, look at that. Wow. Nice. Solid. Yep. Okay. This is great. Let's just leave it. Let's just, we're going to do it here. Are you guys ready? I thought he's introduced. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. If you guys like clear off the stage, it'd be cool. Oh, it's pretty unplugged. No. This is us. You guys can clear off the stage. Deep dive technical talk on how you can design linkages like this to best utilize the cyclone for your projects. Come on over to the other room and work with Blake, the inventor of the cyclone. And uh, before I go, um, Blake is going to show you guys what it can do. All right, you guys watch out. <laughs> it's good. Thanks. Yeah, dude. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, Shoulder. Right? <laughs> <Got it. laughs> 